Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about wild camping. What is wild camping? When to wild camp? Where to wild camp? And how to do it, so stay tuned. So what is wild camping? Well, wild camping to me is spending the night in any place that is not designated for camping. Now that can be in a forest, in the city, in farmland, on private property, on public property, a park. Main thing about wild camping is that you're not paying for somewhere to sleep. You just roll up, put up your tent, or put down your sleeping bag, and spend the night, wake up in the morning and then leave. So a lot of the times this means a certain amount of stealth or a certain amount of keeping quiet, not lighting a fire, not drawing attention to yourself in the places that you may be staying. So this means turning up at the spot at night time, just as it's getting dark, I sleep and then when I wake up in the morning, I leave before the sun comes up. I always leave the camping spot the way that I found it, which means taking away all of your rubbish and not destroying any of the surrounding area by cutting down trees or whatever else. So how do you find a camping spot? Well, as a general rule for myself, I like to make sure that my camping spots are at least a little bit secluded so that no one will walk up into your camp in the middle of the night. So in a public park is probably not the best place to camp, but I have done that before. Usually when I'm in a pinch, um, then I will consider anything within reason. But sometimes if you're stuck in a city and you don't have a place to stay, there are other options than wild camping and putting yourself in a dangerous situation. My advice would be to take a bus and go a little further out of town. If I've been in big cities as well, another thing that I've done if I don't know the place very well is take the bus back to the airport and sleep there, just until I know the lay of the land. It's also a good idea when choosing a spot to camp to steer clear of places that may have routine security patrols, such as ports or airports. Uh, often around airports is where you might want to camp because you may have a late flight um, and you don't have a place to stay. The best idea there is just to stay in the terminal if you can handle it. It's not particularly comfortable sleeping on a, a chair or on the floor, but um, at least you know that you're safe and you're not gonna be interrupted in the middle of the night by a security guard. So that has happened to me one time in Japan. I camped in the mountains. There was a, a night patrol along the paths in the temple um, area in the hills and I woke up to a security guard shining a torch in my face. So these kind of things can happen. Um, another thing that you want to consider when choosing a spot to wild camp is uh, what kind of animals might be in the area. So um, here in New Zealand, there's not a lot of animals that can really hurt you. Um, there are some sheep, uh, there may be um, the odd possum or rabbit, but uh, these aren't really animals that are gonna disrupt you in the middle of the night. I have been woken up by animals by deer in the Netherlands and in France when I was camping in the forest. Um, other parts of the world uh, I've been woken up by uh, raccoons in the United States um, and if you are in say um, a country that has uh, animals that really could uh, be a danger to you it's a good idea just to um, know what is around and just make sure you have the information before you go out and um, do try wild camping in these areas. So I've arrived here in this spot. I'm a little off the beaten path. I've just rode along a gravel road and then ducked up into the forest. And as you can see, it's kind of a little bit of a grassy area here. There's a few plants that are sticking up, but this could be a, a spot where you could spend the night fairly easily. As a general rule, I don't cook in the spot where I'm camping. This is because the smell of the food will attract animals and it will alert people to your camping spot as well. The optimum time for wild camping is when 
you are a long way away from accommodation options. That is, there is nowhere else for you to stay. That would be the number one time to try wild camping. Other times to try wild camping are when the accommodation is incredibly expensive, when it's easy to wild camp, that is, you're near a forest or near an area where you can camp uh, in a secluded spot without anyone noticing you. Any other time to try wild camping is a good time and you should get out there and give it a go. It's a really good way to spend a night somewhere without paying. So setting up camp. What I like to do is when I find a good spot, arrive there, settle down, just sit down and listen. That way you can tell where you are, what are the normal noises around, what other things that might disrupt you, and what other things you might have to consider if you're going to spend the night there. You want to make sure that you're not somewhere where the wind will get high and trees will fall on you, where you're next to a very busy road, or as I have found out, when I found a great camping spot in Dublin, I was underneath the flight path for the airport, so I really could not camp there. But I wouldn't have known if I hadn't have just sat there for a couple of minutes and just listened. Once you do find your camping spot, then you can start to think about setting up your camp. So sometimes, if it's just me, and I'm camping alone in the forest, I will just put down a tarpaulin and then put my sleeping bag on top of that and sleep right there. And that's just fine if it's not raining. But if it is threatening to rain, then a good idea is to get some shelter set up quick smart. So whether that's putting a tarpaulin up between trees or setting up your tent, either one of those things works fine. I have personally been caught out before um, putting up a tarpaulin and what happened is the rain got so heavy in the middle of the night that the water actually flowed underneath my sleeping bag. Another tip for you is don't camp in a cornfield if you think it's going to rain because the water actually runs down the rows of corn and you will get flooded out. If the weather's nice then wild camping is as easy as just throwing down the tarpaulin on the ground and getting out your sleeping bag. But if it's going to rain or it's cold, it's a good idea to put up a tent. The first thing to do before you put up the tent is to just clear the space and make sure there's nothing sharp on the ground that's going to poke a hole in the bottom of your tent or in your air mattress if you use one. Once the ground is clear, it's a good idea to put up your tent as quickly and quietly as possible. So there you go guys, once you have your tent up, you're ready to have a nice free night's sleep. Just remember, when you're wild camping, just stay safe, have fun, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos. I'm going to be putting out more folding bike touring videos, wild camping videos in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.